Hi guys! Alright, so I just recently did my Ipsy unboxing and I finally got a chance to try all the products so now I'm going to share with you what I thought. Um, so yeah, oh I love this bag though, I've been using it every day, I really do like it. But <laughs> anyway, so that's a plus. Uh, I'm going to start with the Ipsy by NYX little eye trio here. And now I did swatch, you can't even see one of the swatches which is one of my complaints. That's the black, that's the kind of coppery brown tone there. And then the lightest shade is right there, you can see it, but um, there's like no pigment to this. I mean, even the black shade, it looks gray. Um, so I was kind of disappointed. I thought I'd really enjoy the colors, but they are so hard to work with, so hard to blend. And like the very first shade, I was so excited about that shade, but it doesn't even hardly show up on my skin. So. All in all, kind of disappointed with this. The next item that I was excited to see and kind of let down by was the Tristique Nantucket Nude Mini Matte Lip Crayon. And I did swatch that as well right there. Um, nothing wrong with the color uh, per se. It's just the Formula 8, it smells bad. Like, it smells really gross. <laughs> Um, I don't know if anyone else noticed that, or maybe it's just me. Let me know if you got this too, and it had a weird smell to it. Um, but it just didn't make my lips look nice. Um, I, it accentuated any little, like, dry spot. Uh, the formula, I don't even know how to describe it. It wasn't moisturizing at all, which I wasn't really expecting from a matte, but it just felt weird. Uh, so not super stoked and you know what I'm kind of glad that there's not much product in it because I'm not really looking forward to using it up so I was kind of disappointed about that too um, and then the Pix by Petra little brow mini shades of brow mini brow trio um, I've been really enjoying this actually uh, that middle shade there is primarily what I use mixed in with a little bit of the kind of chestnutty brown and then that honestly I'm just gonna end up using it as a brow highlight because yeah I am never that blonde and I imagine that's probably what it's for because I don't know anyone that has eyebrows that light so it must be a brow highlight but yeah I've been really liking this um, I set it with my gimme brow so I don't know if it makes a huge difference because my gimme brow kind of has a tint to it already, but it definitely does fill it in really nicely and I've been getting a lot of compliments lately, so I'm uh, really enjoying that. Then the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Little Deluxe Sample. Um, this is such a nice cream. It has kind of an odd scent that I'm not a huge fan of. But the formula is awesome. I put it on my hands and it feels really thick at first. And I kind of worried about it being greasy, but it just soaks right in and there's like no residue afterwards. It's awesome. So really, really happy that I finally got to try it. So that was a pleasant surprise. And then another pleasant surprise was the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. Now, kind of threw me off because <laughs> I opened it up and this scrub is literally black. Like it's a black scrub. Um, now, I wasn't really thrilled to get it just because I have my facial routine down to like a science. <laughs> I finally figured the pro out the products that work really well on my skin and I don't like to mess with it too much. Um, but this one, it's actually, sorry for my glare, um, it's an awesome product. And it says use three times a week for best results. Now the granules are kind of quite large and jagged and quite sharp um, so it gets a really good exfoliation like my skin was like like a baby's butt afterwards but I could see it aggravating my skin if I did use it three times a week so I'm gonna keep this down to once maybe twice a week tops um, just because I think it could aggravate my skin if you've got sensitive um, what's it like sensitive um, I can't think of the word, but uh, reactive skin. If you have reactive skin like I do, um, I probably wouldn't use this three times a week just because it's a little bit harsh, but um, it's a really good scrub. It really is. Uh, it's got a little bit of a scent that I'm not a huge fan of either. But <laughs> Oh, well, that's just me being nitpicky. 
All in all, I'm fairly happy with uh, this week's bags. It was kind of weird because the products that I was excited to get uh, ended up being kind of disappointing. And then the products that I wasn't really thrilled about ended up being my favorite parts. So it's a fun way to try new products. And uh, yeah, all in all, pretty happy with the bag. Not quite as nice as last month though. But anyways, yeah, let me know how you what you thought of the products, if you got any of the same ones. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you guys.